Hey everyone, this is Homeschool Arcade helping educators and students thrive through fun and educational video content. Now, welcome to our new botany series. And in this video, we're gonna be learning about the main differences between vascular plants and non-vascular plants. So, let's get to it. Now, how plants are classified or organized by their characteristics is important when we're learning about botany. Now, there are four main kingdoms in the domain of eukaryota. And if you wanna know more about what that means, if you have no clue what that means, check out this video to learn more. But these four kingdoms are called plantae, protozoa, which are generally microscopic single-celled organisms, animalia, or we call animals, and fungi. Now, all plants can be found in the kingdom of plantae, but furthermore, plants can be broken into two main groups. Uh, scientifically, they're called uh, bryophytes and tracheophytes, but the common terms that we use for these two classifications are vascular and non-vascular. Now, vascular plants include plants like grasses, flowers, ferns, shrubs, trees, and some others. And non-vascular plants, this usually includes things like mosses, liverworts, and, and hornworts. We're gonna try to help you understand what that looks like visually, first of all. So you get an, an overall idea of what this looks like. Let's take a look at a few types of vascular versus non-vascular plants. So now after looking at these, you can definitely tell that they look different. But scientifically speaking, what are some of the major differences between these two types of plants? Well, we're going to be going over seven major differences and make sure you stick around to the end so that way you can hear them all. But number one, vascular plants have, well, a vascular system. And the vascular system in plants, it really consists of special tissues and tubes which have a, a tube-like structure that helps transport things such as water, sap, and nutrients around the plant, similar to how we have veins, and it transports things through our vascular system. Now, the scientific names for the two main types of vascular tissues in plants are xylem and phloem. Now, non-vascular plants, they lack these specialized transport tissues, and instead, they absorb the water and minerals they need directly through leaf-like structures, and they use this process called osmosis. Number two, vascular plants have roots, while non-vascular plants have hair-like structures called rhizoids. Thirdly, vascular plants have true stems, branches, and shoots, while non-vascular plants do not have these objects. Fourthly, vascular plants have true leaves, while non-vascular plants have false leaves, which are actually very small pieces of photosynthetic tissues, not actual leaves, but they are little bits of photosynthetic tissues. Fifth, most vascular plants have seeds, with one exception being ferns. Now, non-vascular plants do not have seeds, but instead they reproduce through spores. Six, vascular plants are larger in size, while non-vascular plants are usually quite a bit smaller. And finally, number seven, vascular plants can be found in dry, sunny places, even in deserts, whereas non-vascular plants are usually found in very moist and shady areas. So, there you have it. Seven big differences between vascular and non-vascular plants. So, we hope you found this video informational and helpful to you. And don't forget to click like and subscribe. Uh, so that way you don't miss any of the new content that we have coming from Homeschool Arcade. Y'all have a good one.